Good afternoon. I wanted to share some thoughts about the entire issue of population control. We had the Vice President of the United States mentioning the importance of depopulation as one of their goals and hear this again and again, this idea that depopulation is necessary to have a harmonious and ecologically thriving planet. And um, I saw some videos that demonstrate once again that this is as far from the truth as you can get. And furthermore, there is a sinister agenda behind it that we really have to keep in mind. Of course, depopulation comes down to who, who's going to be depopulated, right? And so it turns out that if you take all the people on the planet, they could all fit comfortably in a square area the size of Texas. This has been researched by the Cato Institute and others that this idea of overpopulation is a myth. The problem is, is that we have the hoarding of resources by certain powers that be and um, an imbalance in our morality and in our economy. But the planet is capable of sustaining the souls that are on it. In fact, in the teachings of the Ascended Masters, we are told that the planet is able to handle comfortably 10 billion people. Souls come in and souls leave every day. And this is a spiritual ecosystem that the planet carries that needs to be respected. So many souls of light have been aborted through the mainstreaming of abortion since 1979, Roe v. Wade. And there are many other ways that we see this depopulation taking place, whether it's the deaths, untimely deaths due to drug overdoses, um, the vaccine deaths, the push for euthanasia, and even transgender hormone therapies that can shorten the lifespan of young people. I'm bringing all of this to our attention. Of course, there's also war. And what all of these things do is they release the murder of people and people of the light releases light that the hordes of darkness on the astral planes and those who are their puppets feed off of. Now, these are not pleasant things to talk about, but we must because I was watching this documentary that showed clearly this was a man from the Cato Institute working for Prager University, and he was exposing the myth of depopulation, and he was explaining that in every age, the more people that have come to this planet that have been allowed to be born and, and be raised and fulfill their, their divine plan, the more inventions and ideas and the more of a quality of life we find on many parts of the planet, those that have not been manipulated or destroyed by, by dark ones. And so we are better off today with our washing machines and our air conditioning and um, all of the various things that we have that are all part of the inventions that were brought forth, electricity, telephone, etc., internet. And we have to understand that every soul that is born comes in with a specific divine plan. We know that there are etheric retreats of light. There are schools of higher learning just beyond this physical plane where souls study and prepare for re-embodiment. This was actually illustrated in a, an old-fashioned movie called The Bluebird of Happiness that starred Shirley Temple. And there was this understanding and this portrayal or description of the these places where the souls were preparing to come back in and they were choosing what they were going to be in that given life. And so we know that with every child that is born, there is an enormous potential behind that child, right? 
think of what the world would be without Beethoven, for example, or Thomas Edison, or Benjamin Franklin. And so I'm bringing all of these ideas to the fore because what this man from the Cato Institute explained is that by eliminating people, we eliminate the very ideas and opportunities that will make our planet even more sustainable. And this whole carbon footprint is also a sinister myth that is being perpetrated for to further political agendas that are not benevolent, that again lead to this push for depopulation. It became clear to me when I saw this video that this man was presenting about just how much birth of people, of souls, and then the freedom to, to evolve on this planet are essential to creating a better space for everyone. It became clear to me that the efforts of these ones who are into depopulation really go against the entire blueprint that was outlined to us by the Ascended Master Saint Germain, who was embodied as a Saint Joseph and its many other embodiments. And um, his blueprint is for a golden age of Aquarius where we will be able to return to the levels of the right use, the God use of technology that was available and created and sustained the golden age civilizations on Atlantis and Lemuria and in, in distant ages. And so we see a lot of this technology coming back to the fore, but it needs to be used for good and not for evil. And we have to understand that these souls that are coming in, each soul carries the potential to be that Christ child. Each child born is the potential of the Christ child. Therefore, they want to eliminate that potential because it threatens those who are the dark ones, those who feast on the light of others because they're cut off from their own God source and who want further depopulation because that is a Luciferian construct. If you read the book, Dialogues with the Devil, which was written by Taylor Caldwell, a spiritual seer, back in the 1950s, you will find a complete description of the Luciferian takeover of planetary spheres. And what's amazing is that this book describes to a T what we see going on right now, from the rise of the mainstreaming of homosexuality and gay marriages to transgenders to basically the, the, the full disrespect of the energies of Alpha and Omega on the planet, and then the push of an environmental religion that ends up creating these cities where everybody has to live out of fear of the environment, out of fear of um, climate crises of various kinds. And the entire situation is meant to make it so that ultimately the planet collapses. We have to really look at this because my favorite prayer and saying is the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And who is the Lord? But the Christ child coming in, each child and their potential and what they may bring with the right education and the right opportunity. The incredible gifts that they bring that will come through them as inventions, as inspiration, as service, as the next levels of development, like they say in Spanish, desarrollo on our planet. So this entire depopulation agenda is a direct opposition to the golden age blueprint of Saint Germain for the age of Aquarius. And I suggest, recommend that you look up Saint Germain and consider that there are beings of light, masters in the heaven world or the etheric plane that work with humanity, that sponsor souls and assist souls in coming back and fulfilling their divine plan and that want to make true those words that Jesus spoke when he said, may thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And so in the name of my mighty I am presence and my Christ self, with Jesus, with Saint Germain, with the masses of the heaven world, I call now to Almighty God for the collapsing now of this lie of the necessity of depopulation. And I call now for a pathway and a restoration of the opportunity and freedom for each soul of light that is intended to incarnate here, to incarnate and fulfill their divine blueprint and balance their karma and ultimately reunite with God in the ascension and the light. I call for the outpicturing of this golden age consciousness that the world has seen before, where technology and science and spirituality or religion meet for God good, for human flourishing in a divine sense and in a loving of our neighbor as ourself. These are my thoughts today. I also encourage you to consider that violet flame, which is a spiritual alchemy. It's a beautiful spiritual practice when you invoke the violet flame and you can actually feel those divine energies coming through as the physicalized flame of freedom that we can invoke not only for ourselves but for others. God bless you. Have a great day. Namaste.